Dude, what? What? what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, this is, this is a good one. This is my first food challenge and I'm super excited for it. We are eating protein bars for a day. I mean, most of them are protein bars. Sometimes I might slip in like a protein cookie or whatever, but essentially the same thing, right? Anyways, this one is going to be brutal. We'll just say the the gas is going to be insane today. Like, if, I mean, y'all know protein farts are terrible, and I can't imagine how they're going to be by the end of the day. Like, I hope my my intestines can can keep up with me. Anyways, if you want to see more content like this. You want more food challenges, you want me to eat like a specific food for a day or eat like someone else for a day or try someone's workout or whatever, drop me a comment, let me know. I'd love to hear suggestions because I want to make content that you want to see. Obviously, I want to make content that I enjoy, but I also want to make content that you will enjoy because if you don't enjoy my videos, then you're not going to watch them. And then and then all that hard work that I put in will be shown to zero people. So if, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more from me, please let me know in the comments and I would really appreciate it. Also, be sure to drop a like on this video and a comment, as I already said, and hit the bell button because I drop videos every single week and you don't want to miss them because they are absolute bangers. All right, like I got some good stuff in store because just moved into a new new dorm which has a kitchen and I'm so excited because I can make food videos and that's my favorite thing to make on this channel. Most of the content I'll be making is nutrition related in some form. Uh, so if you want more recipe videos, let me know what recipes you want me to make because I am going to definitely make some recipes. Maybe some more protein ice cream recipes, maybe a couple other couple other things that are extremely anabolic. Anyways, we're going to get into this first meal. It's going to be a good one, and let's roll to it right about now. Alright guys, so i got to be a little bit quiet because there's some people sleeping in here. But it is meal number one, so we are getting some kettle protein bars. So we're going to show you what they are. Hmm. Something's kind of running in the back. I don't know what it is. Maybe like air conditioning or something. But anyways, first one is this dang bar. This is peanut butter flavor. I think better be pretty dang good. I would be disappointed. Next is this protein crisp cold stone bar. This thing is this thing has gotta be good. Like I'm so excited to try this one. Next one is this Nugo dark chocolate pretzel protein bar. Cocos. Yeah, there we go. That's that one. And then this Lenny and Larry's cookie. This is chocolate and mint flavor. I've had their other cookies and they're, they're decent, but I've never had this one, so I'm excited to try it. So let's let's start with this dang protein bar here. Hopefully the taste makes up for the lack of protein in this. like cookie dough. Know? It's a good sign. Alright, so here's what this looks like. There we go. Yeah. Not too bad. Hmm. It's not chewy at all. It's like straight crunchy. It's essentially, it tastes like straight peanuts. Like there's peanuts in this. I don't know if you can see much on the inside here. That's what it looks like. Like, like you can taste the nice salt of peanuts in there. It's mostly like it's pretty dang good. Mm. Alright. So this one, let's say I'll give it I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I think this one was pretty good. When I get it again, probably not just because there's not a lot of protein in this, and I, I need more protein. Normal protein bar would have double the amount of protein. Anyways, gonna finish this off, gonna go to the next one. All right, so next we're gonna be trying this Nugo 
dark chocolate pretzel with sea salt. See this one here? Looks decent. Looks good. I don't know what that air conditioner is doing in the background. But I guess we're going with the video because I gotta eat these things. So hopefully you can hear what I'm doing right now. But this one. We're gonna try it out. This is what this looks like. Let's see. <clears throat> nice chocolate coating. So, gonna give this a try. Take a look at the inside of this. You see that? Focus. There we go. Got a nice crunch to it. And that dark chocolate coating it really makes a difference. And this, this one is really good. I'm giving this eight and a half out of ten. With this, I will get this again. Next up, we're trying this protein crisp. This one, Colston one. This one's gotta be good. Good, I'm gonna see what it looks like. Okay, okay. Looks pretty good, pretty good. Pretty nice. I also like this. Reminds me of, if you ever had Optimum Nutrition Protein Crisp Bars, it's essentially this. This one, this is from BSN. So, I guess that's one that makes it a little cold, so, so. But this one is good, I like it. And this one, I think I'm gonna give this another eight out of 10. Just cause it's not like amazing, but for protein bar, this thing is really good. And, I mean, I couldn't believe this is made out of white protein, and if it wasn't, I'd probably buy it again, just because I don't normally eat whey, because my acne is a problem. But, good protein bar, I would also recommend this. I'd recommend any of the bars that I have currently eaten. It's good. So if you can't see, I'm currently in a different location, than my rotator cuff video. By the way, if you haven't seen the rotator cuff video, it's gonna be in the description for you. So that's a really good video. Don't wanna miss it. But anyways, I moved dorms, so see behind me. There's a kitchen. I mean they'll be able to make food videos which I'm super excited about. So if you want food content, is if there's a certain recipe you want me to make and cover, drop it in the comments, let me know and I'll make a video on it. All right, and the last one we're having for breakfast is this Lenny and Larry's cookie. Now, I, I know it's not a protein bar, but it's a protein, protein uh, food that's processed, so I'm counting it. This is the chocolate mint flavor. This is what this one looks like. You can really smell the mint going on right now. See those chips in there? Very cakey. I definitely need to have this water with me. Not really cookie consistency. Do you see the inside of this? See that? Yeah. Not really cookie. Probably won't satisfy your cookie craving, honestly. At least the flavor is good. I do like the flavor. So dry. <clears throat> the other cookies I've had from them have been a lot more moist. This thing is so dry. What is that? Just the chocolate? Chocolate mint. This doesn't really count as a protein bar. I'm counting it. <laughs> have fun doing this all day. Yeah. I get to eat real food. <laughs> he has to eat anabolic French toast. Anabolic French toast, English muffins, eggs, the life. In the food court at Reber Thomas. <laughs> I get to eat these dry protein cookies. <laughs> but honestly, not too bad. I'm gonna give those six and a half out of 10. If the texture was better, I would give it a higher rating, but the flavor's, the flavor's decent. I was like, if you want a protein cookie, go to Quest. There's their texture. They, they nailed it. I think that I think those are really good. 
kind of feel like another protein bar. Might add in another one to try out. I have had a couple of these before already, so. Might add in one of those just to give you a review on it. So that, that thing in the background stop like making noise. Hopefully you can hear me better now. Right, so I'm, I'm still not an eighth sincere. This think bar. Please focus. There we go. I've had their one of their flavors before, and it's it's pretty good. So I've not had this one yet. So I'm gonna try it. I don't know if I'll be getting this flavor again. <laughs> kind of dry. It looks like I will probably be having this pumpkin spice one. And I do like this one. Because can't go wrong with pumpkin spice. Anyways. Last bar for breakfast. And this thing bar. This is creamy peanut butter flavor. Kind of nice chocolate coating on the outside. If you want to focus, please. There we go. Gonna give this a taste test. The texture is very nice. It's, it's not crunchy. It's not really chewy either. It's sort of in the middle. It just bite down into it pretty easily. That's what the inside looks like. Not too bad. I think I'm gonna give this one 7 out of 10. The other bars that I had were better, aside from the, the protein cookie, which it wasn't the cookie, but this one's still good, and I, if I, again, if I had white protein normally, then I would get this, but I don't, so, kind of stick with my vegan bars. Um, sometimes they don't taste as good, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I think... That'll do it for this meal. And see you when we eat again. Hopefully my digestive system will be able to take this because um, I don't know. If I eat more than like three protein bars in a day, my digestives do not take it well. And I've already had five protein bars. So I can't imagine how this is gonna go. Anyways, calories macros on the screen somewhere around here. Um, yeah, I mean, would I recommend you trying this right now? Um, probably not, just because it cost me a lot of money to buy all this stuff. But we'll see you for my next meal. All right guys, so it's currently 1.20 p.m. It's been about like, what, like, four or so hours, four or five hours, three, four hours actually. And it is time for lunch. Now today, we got, and how many bars am I eating today? If I feel like it, I'm eating five bars. Now these are kind of interesting. So first off, we're starting basic. We have this power bar, protein plus cookies and cream. I love cookies and cream so much. One of my favorite flavors ever. So there's that one, also this. Met RX Bar, crispy apple pie. Now, I also love apple pie, so I hope this tastes good. If it does, that'll be a win in my book. Next one, this is a vegan bar. This is from Mescla. Probably butcher that, but anyways, it's a plant protein bar. Kind of interesting flavor. This is Mexican Chipotle hot chocolate. And it's got quinoa and mild chili pepper in it. So we'll, hopefully that one will turn out well. Next one, this is really weird. I found this at the convenience store on campus. This is from Epic. This is an Epic bar. This is chicken sriracha flavor. I've never seen a chicken protein bar in my life. They also had a beef one, but I don't like beef, so I got the chicken one. <laughs> this stuff is weird. Anyways, last one. Rice Krispie Treat protein bar. This one's gotta be good, you know. So let's start with this power bar, cookies and cream flavor. So, so, looks like a normal protein bar. You see the chocolate there. Mmm, very soft. It's the average protein bar. Um, 
I mean, that's all really. Slight cookies and cream taste. It's decent, not amazing. I'll give this one a seven out of 10. Would I recommend it? Maybe. I will say, I've had better though. But I've had a lot worse, so. Let's move on to this Mezcla Chipotle chocolate thing. Interesting one here. Look at this. Can you see this? Yeah. Looks pretty good. See that? Looks decent. I can get behind this. You know, it's not spicy at all. And I expected it to be spicy. Oh. Got a tiny bit of an aftertaste. And the spice kicked in a little bit. Very mild though. But it's got the nice crunch to it. See the inside there? Give it a size to focus. Come on. Focus, there we go. See that crunchiness in there? There's a tad bit of, of spice to it. Gets you in the aftertaste though, because when you initially bite into it, you're like, no, oh, this is like a normal protein bar. But, yeah, this is decent. Seven and a half out of 10 out of this one. I'm not rating that one higher just because it's like a very standard flavor. A lot of people make chocolate protein bars. So it doesn't really stand out to me. But what does stand out is this chicken protein bar. I've never seen a chicken protein bar in my life. But next one, this one's gotta be good. Right? Because if you like chicken, then you'll obviously like this. This is sriracha flavor. I don't like sriracha. So I don't know if this is gonna go. Very curious. Oh, well, I can smell that chicken. It smells like deli chicken. I mean, probably because it's processed. And it's in a bar form. I wonder what part of the chicken they use for this. Like, is it like chicken breast, chicken thigh, or is it like weird parts of the chicken, like brain or something? Or like liver? I don't know. Anyways, this is, this is a tough bar. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I don't know. It's intriguing. This is what it looks like. It's, it looks like, I don't know what it looks like. It looks like a, like a flattened Slim Jim. Anyways, give this a go. Thank you what I expected. Let's see some cheese with it. Tastes sort of like a Slim Jim. Been a long time since I've had a Slim Jim, but mm, definitely spicy. If you like that Slim Jim spice, processed meat taste, you're gonna love this bar. Not my favorite though, but this is honestly decent. I'll give it a six and a half out of 10. And you can all see the inside there. It looks like, has a very Slim Jim-like texture. Gotta get the spice out of my mouth. Anyways, excited for this one. This Matt RX Bar Crispy Apple Pie Flavor. Like, you can't go wrong. You literally can't go wrong. Oh, you could because it's a protein bar, but I have high hopes. I get this turned on. This is a massive protein bar. Oh, got layers to this thing. Look at this. Look at that. So you got like the base, and you got some stuff in the middle. Then you got this like apple pie stuff on the top. It looks like apple butter. Now I got to eat in the water. This that spice is lingering in my mouth. Mm. Ah. Anyways. Oh, that smells great. Ooh, I'm gonna, gonna do this one and go. That one wins. Mm-hmm. Oh man, reminds me of Thanksgiving dinner. My mom makes the best apple pie ever. Shout out to you, mom, I know you're watching. When I come home, please make some apple, apple pie. Maybe some pumpkin too. But this stuff, like, look at the inside. Look at that. So good. Mm. Mm. Nine out of 10. It's very solid protein bar. This so last one I'm gonna try. This is from Cloud 10. This Rice crispy bar. No. My roommate Nathan, by the way, if you haven't checked out Nathan McCracken's channel, I'm gonna link that in the, in the description because he's my friend and, and we're 
gym bros, gym buddies, and he's making some some cool content. So subscribe to his YouTube channel and follow his Instagram. I'm sure he'd really appreciate it. So anyways, we're gonna try this thing. Now if it's anything like Rice Krispie Treat, it's gonna be good. So, let's take a look at this thing. This is what it looks like. You know, I mean, it looks like a Rice Krispie bar. Nice and thick and, and big. All right, let's dive in. How can you go wrong? You can't. By the way, this is a non-dairy protein bar. Which makes it even better. Oh, I like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. You don't even feel like you're cheating. Oh, what? Oh, wait, no, how about that? You feel like you're cheating, but you're technically not because it's a protein bar. But also, you're kind of cheating because it tastes like you're cheating. I don't know what I'm saying, but this is just very solid. I can also give this a 9 out of 10. I probably won't give it any protein bar 10 out of 10 because. That means that it has to be my favorite food in existence, and nothing can compare to that. But those are what I'm eating. I'm gonna finish these off, get some work done, and I will see you just for the pre workout meal. Gonna be a good one. So I will see you then. Alright, so it's like 2 10 right now, and you know, I just. I have so many protein bars, and I just feel like I gotta go all in and eat as many as I possibly can without, like, you know, risking anything. So, this is very interesting. This is a Luna protein bar. I mean, protein. There's not a lot of protein in it, but it has protein in it. I guess it advertises that. This is lemon zest flavor. It's all natural, apparently. Natural flavoring. Gluten-free, eight grams of protein, non-GML, you know, everything that every bar says, every food product says nowadays. But made in Canada, very interesting. I've had Luna bars before. I don't know if I was the biggest fan. I don't think I've had this one before. I can tell that it's natural flavoring. It smells like a natural lemon. <laughs> you can see this here. Not too shabby. Nice um, yogurt-ish vanilla coating on the bottom, and you have the the oat granola layer on top. Let's give it a whirl. Tastes like sweet lemon. If you're a fan of lemon desserts, you will love this bar. I'm a fan, I will say I'm a fan. I normally, I like the sourness of lemon, that's why I love lemon. I love sour food. This isn't sour at all. It's sweet because it's, you know, protein bar, but you can taste the lemon in it. Imagine it like a, maybe like a lemon meringue pie or something of that form. It sort of tastes like that. So if you like lemon meringue pies, then you'll probably like this bar. So I'll give this seven and a half out of 10. The other ones that I've had are better. But this is still good, and I think that if you like this flavor a lot, then then you should probably get it. And also, it'd be a little bit higher if there's more protein in it, but there's like a good protein to flavor balance, and you just gotta find the right balance of of protein to flavor and calories. Some of these bars have been have been really, really good, and I've been thoroughly surprised. The one I normally go to is this chocolate mint one here from Builders, the Cliff. Either that one or the cookies and cream flavor. Both are amazing and I love them. The thing is they're a little bit higher calorie, so they're sort of a trade-off, but they're amazing. But this bar is pretty good. So current macros for the day. I'm gonna put up on the screen right about now. My digestive system is processing everything right now. Uh, I hope it doesn't get worse because we gotta hit the gym. Hit a very solid leg day in a couple hours. Um, might have a bar or two before the workout. So I will see you then. All right guys, so we are back for meal number uh, three. Meal number three, this is the pre-workout meal. We'll say, not feeling too bad right now. Like, energy levels are decent. I mean, they've been better, but they've also been a lot worse. So I, you know, I feel fine. Um, my digestive system is taking it right now. I mean, I did have a couple uh, Tom's, but 
you know, I, I take those normally, so, you know, who knows if it actually, uh, if anything was actually different. But, we're gonna get into more protein bars, and we're gonna rate them and see how they are. Currently 4.54 p.m. Gonna eat these a couple hours before my workout. I'm eating these a little bit earlier than what I would normally have for pre workout meals because I've already had like, well, like 11 protein bars today, and my digestives need time to take all this in. So we're gonna eat as many as we can, probably five. So we're gonna start with probably the worst one. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is, sorry RX, but this is the RX bar, blueberry flavor. Pretty healthy, three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates. That's all there is in it. I think I got two dates in here. No, I guess me and this RX bar don't have a lot in common, but we're going to get right into this. All right. Mm. Ooh, that's really sticky. Oh. Yeah. You got some nuts in there. But like, I can just start to talk. Hmm. This is like on the sickness level of a quest bar. And if you ever had a quest bar, they're insanely chewy. This is on that level. All the, the bars are sticking to my teeth. Doesn't feel nice. Taste is decent though. Um, but that one a five and a half out of 10. Probably won't get that one again. Yeah, not, not the best. But hopefully the next ones make up for it. Now we have one from Cliff. This isn't really like a protein bar, but it has protein on the front, so I assume that it counts as a protein bar. So, this is a nut butter bar, peanut butter flavor. Very small. <coughs> oh, man. That RX bar is making me cough. Anyways, this is kind of small. You can see the texture there. Not too shabby. Mm hmm. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Mm hmm. I mean, tastes just like peanut butter. I can see like there's some little streaks of peanut butter in it to the inside here. See that? Pretty good. Mmm. I like this. Is this a good protein bar? No. Because it doesn't have protein, a lot of protein in it. But as a bar itself, as a snack bar, it's good. I like that. We'll give that one. 7 out of 10, be higher if there's more protein, but the taste is really good, because I love peanut butter. So next, let's go into this Nugo. This Nugo vanilla yogurt protein bar. All right, here's what it looks like. See that? Got that nice coating there. Mm-hmm. Very good. Reminds me of like, if you took a Rice Krispie Treat, and you put some like vanilla yogurt icing on it. That's what this is. I like this. Giving this, uh, let's say seven and a half out of 10. No, 7.75 out of 10. There we go. Solid bar. I will get this again. Next one. This is from Special K. All right. This is a strawberry flavored bar. These are their, from the protein meal bar line. I mean, this is a meal bar, it's not really a protein bar, but it, you know, it, there's protein in big letters on the front, so I assume that they're advertising it as such. So, there you go, just nice coating on the outside there. Mm. It's pretty good. If you've ever had some form of strawberry flavored bar, granola bar or something, that's that same strawberry flavor. Of course it's not gonna be that fresh strawberry flavor. It's more of that processed strawberry flavor. That more like sugary strawberry, if you wanna call it that. But it's pretty decent. I say I give this one a seven out of 10. Another good one. Doesn't have as much protein as I would have liked, but tastes pretty good. Now on to the last one. Hopefully the best one. This is from Gatorade. 
You know, Gatorade is doing everything. They got drinks and they got bars. This is a white protein bar. Now keep in mind, I don't normally eat whey like this. I don't normally, I don't normally eat whey at all. I only am doing this for this video, which means I'm committed to you guys. I want to make content for you. I want to make good content. Because if I just ate a bunch of vegan protein bars, like, like who really eats vegan protein anyways? I know there's some of you out there, me and myself included, I use vegan protein and dairy-free protein. But not a lot of people eat them. So I gotta include some white protein because if I, if I ate the couple vegan protein bars that there were, I would only have like two. So I gotta incorporate some of these. Man, if this doesn't add 20 pounds of muscle to my frame in, in an hour, then this is getting a zero out of 10. It looks like a straight chocolate bar. See that? Focus, please. There we go. Like most, straight chocolate bar for chocolate coating. So, let's give this a whirl. Pretty, pretty good. Got a nice crunch. If a protein bar has a good crunch to it, then it wins in my book. I'm not the biggest fan of the, the chewy kinds of protein bars like the Quest, the No Cow, the RX. I just don't really like them. This crunch though, I love the crunch. Like all the, like give me all the crunch you have and I will give you a 10 out of 10. But this one, I mean, it's a basic flavor. It doesn't really stand out to me. So I'm going to give this eight out of 10 because of the crunch factor. It is, you know, all these bars except for the RX had some crunch to them. So yeah, these are the five bars calories and macros for, for this meal on screen right up here. It's the calories are getting up there for the day. And probably one of my higher calorie days. Um, we got a couple more bars for post-workout. And then I'll probably call it a day because I will be completely stuffed full of protein bars. I would have eaten like 20 bars by then, which is a lot of bars, like so many bars. Um, after this, after this day, I probably won't eat protein bars for another five years. Like, too many bars. There's <laughs> just so much. Like, at this point, I'm, like, half, like, force-feeding myself. Like, I want to eat the bars. But I don't really have much of an appetite because of all the protein. And, you know, just all the processed stuff that's in my stomach. But anyways, let's go to the gym. Hopefully, my stomach doesn't explode from this leg workout and the belt that I'm about to put on to do some heavy squats. But we're gonna do it anyways. So we're gonna see you there in a couple seconds. Wait, dude, this oh, is a squat God. rack. Are you serious? Uh, yeah, I, was, I was actually just warming up for squats. The, the, you didn't see the squats. No, explain. No, uh, um, I, was, I, was, I was just warming up, trust me. I'm actually turning your legs today. This, I'm turning them once a month now. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. All right, guys, we're here at the gym with with Nathan. You know, the protein bars are going better than I expected. I took like five tons today, so, you know, I'm compensating a little bit, but hopefully this workout goes well. I'm gonna hit some heavy squats and get you a good update when we're done. All right, guys, so the workout is completed. That was honestly like the best leg workout I've ever had. I got a PR. I can throw it up on the screen right about now at 295. Felt pretty good. Death was there, so I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty satisfied. So we are, we got Chick-fil-A. Unfortunately, I can't eat it, obviously, even though it's amazing. I will eat it tomorrow for, I don't know, maybe breakfast or something. But anyways, we got some chicken. I have to eat some protein bars. I got a protein cookie here. Got his, his sandwich meal. meal. Loads of calories. It's all we see here in 12 count nuggets. Yeah, there we no. go. Chick fil A sauce, the best sauce. Absolutely. It's the go to after a leg day. There's just nothing better. Yeah. Nothing better. So I'm going to eat these protein bars. I have zero appetite, but we're going to get it down because I'm doing this for you guys. So please hit that like button and that subscribe button and the bell button and watch another, another video of me. So I'm gonna give you a review of these. I've tried all of them, so I know what they taste like, but I'm gonna give you a review anyways. I'm also tell you which ones I like, which ones are the best. All right, first up, we got this chocolate peanut butter flavor from Good Snacks. 
So we're gonna give this taste test. I've already had this, by the way. So. Got it. Oh, it broke by accident. Got a little crushed in my bag, but this is what it looks like. You know, chocolate coating like most other protein bars. And this is average protein bar consistency. See the inside here? Come on, focus, please. There we go, see that? It's average protein bar consistency. Almost like a think bar. It's decent. I'll give this one a seven out of 10. So now, I'm excited for this one. This is the Power Crunch Bar. Salted caramel flavor. I've had the chocolate mint flavor before and it is amazing. It tastes like a thin mint. This looks like got that nice wafer. It smells great. It's like 90% as good as one of those normal, like plain wafers, those vanilla wafers. Almost as good as that. These things are great. I'll rate this eight and a half out of 10. And last, and maybe least, this wedding layer is complete cookie, pumpkin spice flavor. Now I love pumpkin spice. It's one of my favorite things about fall, the pumpkin spice, the pumpkin. It's the best thing ever. So I will tell you this, this one is better than the chocolate mint flavor. That chocolate mint was really, really dry. Like, I couldn't have eaten that without water. This is a big one. And so what this looks like, you know, sort of like a cake-like consistency. Mm. Yeah, the nice pumpkin spice flavor. Um, tastes like fall. I love it. Better texture than the chocolate mint one. I'll give this 7 out of 10. So, yeah, decent. Pretty decent. I'd probably get it again. So yeah, that's all I'm eating today. I'm stuffed. <laughs> probably won't eat tomorrow. But I will see you back in my room because it's too loud in here and I can't end the video like this. So I'll see you in a minute. Dude, what? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm just question. doing a quick physique check. You know, the, the protein bar. Reverse getting, vacuum? Yeah, I'm practicing my reverse vacuum pose, actually. <laughs> like, something's up with you today. Like, curls yeah, the, in the squat rack. Now this. Dude, the protein bars are having an effect on me, I'm telling you. Not in a good way, either. Get it together. Come on. Oh, man, I'm, I'm sorry, dude. It happens. I don't... I'll let this one slide, but I can't forgive the curls in the squat rack. Like, come on. Mm. This, is too, this is too far. <laughs> Anyways, guys, my physique doesn't actually look like that. I was sticking my gut out as far as I can. Anyways, I'm, I am still kind of bloated though. Like, uh, I'm like relaxed. My flex. Yeah, I was going to a little bit, but they're a little bit faded right now because the protein bars are like, like, I don't know how many calories it is, like definitely over 4,000. I'm gonna put macros calories up on the screen right about now, somewhere in here. But like, dude, like, so much food. I have no appetite right now. Probably not gonna eat breakfast tomorrow, skip it, maybe skip lunch if I'm feeling it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna end this video right here. If you enjoyed it, if you like this content and wanna see more of it, please smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button and that bell button because I release videos every single week. You don't want to miss it. I'm real tired right now. I'm gonna, gonna go to bed and you're ready. Have a good day tomorrow. So, I will see you in the next one. See ya.